Welcome to this tutorial on how to set up DRS Restaurant POS. To begin, you need to download the files from the Restaurant POS channel in your Discord server and then insert them into your game. You can add them into Studio by right clicking Workspace and then selecting Insert from File. Before you set up the product, ensure that your game has been published and that HTTP requests have been enabled by heading to Game Settings, Security and setting the toggle for true. Next, ungroup the product and then you can begin to configure the system. Firstly, open the master config script found under the configuration cog. Here, you can change a number of settings. Firstly, you can change whether the full boot sequence will play by changing this to true or false. You should also then change the name of your restaurant here, which will display on the system. After this, you can add and customise categories to the POS. To change the name of a category, simply change the text in the square brackets. You can also customise the image displayed, and this needs to be uploaded to the Roblox Creator Hub, found at create.roblox.com. Once you have uploaded the image, copy the numbers in the image's URL back into the script, where it says RBX asset ID colon forward slash forward slash. To add more categories, simply duplicate the code beneath itself. You can also configure products within this script. To customise an item's name, simply change the text in the square brackets. You can also configure the price, category the item is within, and the maximum order amount here. To change the item's image, it's the same process as before. Head to the Roblox Creator Hub, upload it, and paste the image's URL ID back into the stated location. To configure who can turn on and shut down the system, change either the user ID in the square brackets or the group ID and the minimum role. To add another group role or user to the whitelist, simply duplicate the line of code beneath itself. To configure what currency the system uses, simply change the text in the brackets to the currency sign. To customise menu displays, find the display part of the screen you want to configure and then open its configuration script. From here, you can change the title of the menu in the speech brackets and uploading the image is the same as before. Head to the Creator Hub, upload it, and paste the URL ID in the stated location. To add more images, copy the code beneath itself and change the number in the square brackets to two or whatever digit is one higher than your previous image number. For example, if I have three images, my next number would be labelled 4. You can also customise the speed of how long a menu is displayed for before the system moves on to the next by changing the slide interval number. To complete the setup, make sure the two labelled items have been moved into Starter Pack. We do not recommend customising or changing any part of the UI, as it is a difficult task and you will lose support privileges for the product. If you do want to, however, there are two UIs uploaded in the Restaurant POS channel within the Discord server for you to customise. Please read the information on customising the UI in our setup documentation before changing anything. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please open a ticket in our Discord server via discord.gg forward slash DRS.